friends to youtube channel kisik san today uh, i am going to talk about the sugar beet cyst nematode sugar beet cyst nematode is a disease uh, which is a major parasite that uh, has posed a production problem for beet growing areas across the world it is caused by heterodera um, satsiti first discovered in germany in 1859 by h satsit it was named and described by e s satsit in 1871 the spread of sugar beet cyst nematode uh, has historically been associated with expanded sugar beet production in new geographic areas sugar beet cyst nematode has been a serious pest in the north pallid valley of western narvaska since 1920s signs and symptoms of sugar beet cyst nematode includes fields may be uniformly infested or may have localized area of infestation look for circular to oval spots where plant where the poor plant stands and growth are observed the pathogens can attack a plant of any age and seedling or young beets may be killed resulting in reduced stands young plants infected by the disease have elongated petioles and remain stunted until harvest the leaves of a severely affected plants additionally wilt and have a pronounced yellowing the most easily recognized signs of sin- of infection is the white to pale yellow lemon sip adult females attached to roots damages uh, tap root will be reduced in size and produce an excess of storage roots often referred to as being a bearded such roots may also be confused with the those affected by rhizomania plants infected early may also be severely branched when older plants are attacked symptoms and resulting damage are much less noticeable economic uh, yield loss threshold is approximately 2 to 4 nematode eggs in 1 cubic centimeter of soil several factors will lower the threshold including a higher sugar price higher percentage of sugar and lower cost of management damage is determined by primarily by how long favorable environmental condition will last and the number of nematode present pathogenic uh, life cycle of sugar beet cyst nematode sugar beet cyst nematode is a parasitic roundworm that overwinter in soil as a dormant egg or juveniles in cyst which is the dead body of female when the root of a host plant contact or grow near the cyst combined with adequate soil moisture and temperature above 30 deg- uh, 50 degree fahrenheit the second stage juveniles are stimulated by root exudate to hatch from their egg and emerge from yeast they migrate to roots infecting near the tips after entering roots they migrate deeper into the cortex and begin developing into solen third stage juveniles after the fourth molt females became lemon shaped and can be seen as small white dots attached to young fibrous root adult males emerge from roots into the soil and are attached to females where fertilization occurs female produces an average of 200 egg each the major 80 of which remain inside their bodies when they die their body wall thickens and is transformed into a leathery brown reddish lemon shaped cyst completing the life cycle the life cycle normally takes 4 to 6 weeks depending upon the soil temperature sugar beet cyst nematode reproduces optimally between 70 to 80 degree fahrenheit and is capable of producing three cycle in a season now the host strains of sugar beet cyst nematode 
presently uh, it causes economic loss only in sugarbeet but it can infect more than 200 plant species in 23 different families most susceptible host for the nematode are found in senepo dsc and cruciferi families management of sugarbeet cyst nematode for sanitation tear soils should not be dumped back into fields as they can result in the nematode or spots the tear soil could be spread evenly over a harvested field and rotated out of beads for three to five years a use as fill for washes bar ditches etc rotation with non host crops planting crops like small grain corn some beans or alfalfa will reduce the soil population throughout natural decline however the managed weeds host to effectively manage the nematode the length of the time for rotating out of beads can be estimated with an expected 50 percent annual decline rate after field population have been determined early planting planting early when soil temperature are less than 60 degree fahrenheit will reduce disease damage <coughs> the older plants are when infection occurs the least the damage and yield loss are realized tarp crops well radish and aloe mustard cruciferi crops have been developed and used successfully in germany the crops triggers egg to hatch and infect but they fail to develop into adult and do not reproduce specific varieties of these crops have been developed for the sugar beet cyst nematode but will have little effect upon the false root not nematode growers should be aware of the presence of a mixed population of this parasite when choosing management methods.